Hi everybody, my name is Andrew Newman and I am a second year law student here at Gonzaga University School of Law. Uh, we are both ambassadors with the school and as we're not able to do any on-campus tours right now with the COVID-19 pandemic, we wanted to do a virtual tour where we'll be walking around the school with you, showing you a couple of our favorite spots and telling you a little bit more about why Gonzaga is the school that we love. And I'm Katie, I'm a third year law student finishing up my last month of law school, I'm hailing from Seattle originally and excited to show you guys around. All right, hey everybody, we wanted to start the tour outside the school, so we're gonna flip the camera around and walk into the school like a normal tour would begin, so hang with us. All right, you guys, let's get going on this tour and check out the law school. <laughs> start with first is our clinic. Uh, on campus we have its university legal assistance. It's consistent of about five or six clinics. We have the Indian Law Clinic, Business Law Clinic, Environmental Law Clinic, Federal Tax Clinic, and our new Immigration Clinic as well. Hopefully in the fall we will be opening our LGBTQ Clinic. Uh, these clinics are on campus and here for people in the community who aren't able to afford legal aid um, who otherwise would need to have hired an attorney for certain issues. Um, it's ran by attorneys in this office as well. Students are able to intern in these and get our experiential learning credits. Experiential learning credits are those that you need six credits <laughs> by the time you graduate um, doing things in our community, whether it's interning at prosecutor's office, defense firms, uh, civil firms, family law firms, uh, tax firms, anything you can think of, the uh, clinics on campus also count for that as well. They're super handy because you get to stay on campus and get um, experience in the legal world. I interned in the general slash Indian law clinic for a year and a half and I loved it. I was able to work with the tribe, uh, Kalispell tribe up north, and go into tribal court and work on dependency hearings, family law hearings, and some criminal matters. So it was really interesting to get to learn about that and feel like I was immersed into the like the world of law. One of the nice things too about those experiential learning credits is you don't have to just do them in the clinic. For example, I'm currently doing mine with the U.S. Attorney's Office downtown and instead of going to class for however many credits a semester I'm doing that, I'm going and doing actual legal work in the real world and getting class credit for that instead. All right, so behind us is the admissions office. Um, you know, right now things are all over the place with what's going on. Uh, so it's really important if you have any questions to reach out to them. They're here to help you and answer any questions that you might have coming with uh, coming to law school in the fall or if you have any questions for in the future, um, anything like that. The admissions office is a great resource uh, in regard to what it's going to be looking like and things you need to get done, everything like that. All right, now we're gonna to head to the courtroom inside the law school, and this is one of my favorite rooms inside of the law school itself, and I'll explain why for a couple reasons once we step in there. As a first year student, when you get to Gonzaga, a lot of your orientation is gonna be held in the law school's courtroom. Uh, the good thing about that is the courtroom's big enough to house the entire 1L law class in here, and so you'll do a lot of different activities in here. As I mentioned, orientation, and then many of my finals are actually in this courtroom, and so I've had quite a few uh, stressful days in here, but it's still one of my favorite buildings on campus. Uh, as well, we, all, we have a lot of our community events in here or any major speakers. Uh, every year, our Attorney General Bob Ferguson will come and present at the school. Uh, normally during basket, the height of basketball season, he'll come in. He's a huge Zags fan, so we get to hear firsthand what the state of Washington is doing 
um, in regard to anything you can think of that the AGs are involved in. As well, we have major speakers come in here and presentations uh, that are both for the school and for the community. It's a really great time for everybody to come together and hear what's happening in the world of law. Um, and it's uh, we also have a lot of our club presentations in here as well and everything like that. And one exciting thing is, is during um, certain times of the year, we'll have the naturalization ceremonies for people becoming United States citizens. So people from all across like greater Eastern Washington can come to Gonzaga's courtroom and get naturalized as US citizens, which is a really awesome experience. Some of the other really cool things that happen in here are some of the law school's uh, internal competitions. Uh, for instance, every spring Gonzaga has a appellate advocacy competition that 1Ls, 2Ls, and 3Ls can all sign up for. Uh, it's a mock argument in front of the Supreme Court, and so uh, the competition runs from Monday to Saturday. And the Saturday competition is the final, and which is judged by Washington State and Idaho Supreme Court justices, many of whom went to Gonzaga itself. So it's a really cool opportunity to get to actually argue in the courtroom itself and get to argue in front of state Supreme Court justices. So this is the second floor of the library. Um, what we have here are a lot of our secondary materials as well around you. Uh, we have our federal materials and some state materials as well. Uh, it's really important to have knowledge of both how to use paper, uh, legal research, as well online. Uh, at Gonzaga, we offer four semesters of uh, legal research and writing. Uh, it is more than most schools. Uh, it's really helpful because it gets you experience and education on how to be a proficient legal researcher and writer. Um, and in your first two semesters, in your first two semesters of law school in LRW one and LRW two, you learn how to do paper copy research, um, meaning you start in the secondary materials, you figure out what you need to look up, and then you move on to your state materials that you're looking at. This is really beneficial, especially um, in your work experience as well, because not all firms will have online research ability, and so learning how to do the paper research is very vital in being a successful lawyer. Here in the library, there are a lot of different areas you can study, uh, whether or not you like the big tables in which you can study with multiple people, or the small cubicles in which there's individual ones. Uh, my favorite place to study, however, are the study rooms, and there are numerous on each floor, and you can go in there, you can shut the door, you can do pretty much whatever you want in there because it's relatively quiet and it's a lot easier to focus. Uh, I study a lot with study groups in there and the nice thing about them is if you get in there at 7 a.m. in the morning, unless someone's booked it, you can stay in there until you want to leave the library. Okay, so this is our student sort of area, cafeteria and seating area. Uh, what we have are lockers for students that you can rent out by semester or for the whole year. It's really handy when you're holding like five huge heavy books to have a locker to put stuff in because it can get tiresome on your arms. As well, we have numerous refrigerators for your food to bring lunches. Um, and if you don't want to bring lunch, we also have a cafe in the, the law school um, that's open during the day for coffee, snacks, and lunches as well. Anything that you can think of that you'll need. Um, and then there's bunches of spots to eat and study and sort of see your friends in between classes. And just over our shoulder right here is the Center for Professional Development, who you'll be hearing from in a little bit in a video of their own, but they are one of the most useful centers in uh, the school because they're able to help you get internships, uh, figure out how to apply to different internships, and actually help you with the applications themselves. Yeah, they're very beneficial as well for um, getting your resume uh, put together and working on cover letters as well because in the legal world, resumes and cover letters look a little bit different than what you might be used to, and they're just a great resource for being successful outside of the school, which is really helpful. This is the Gonzaga Law Review. Uh, this is an opportunity that comes to you you're starting your second year of law school. It's a great opportunity to uh, get more experience in legal research and writing as well adding something to your resume. A lot of my friends have done it and I know they've really enjoyed it and it's a really great opportunity to look to once you're in law school. 
This office belongs to the International Journal of Law at Gonzaga. It's very similar to the Gonzaga Law Review, but deals with a lot more issues that are pertinent to the international community and international law itself. This is a typical classroom that you'll have in your 1L year. During your first year of law school, you'll take classes such as torts, civil procedure, criminal law, LRW1, litigation skills, contracts, property, constitutional law, LRW2, and transactional lab. We thought we'd end our tour with you today by taking a couple seconds to tell you about our favorite things about Gonzaga and the Spokane community. One of my favorite things about the Gonzaga community is the professors here at the law school. The professors go out of their way to not only make sure that your legal education is top notch, but to make sure that you're adjusting well to law school and staying healthy and happy during law school. Thank you guys for watching all of these videos and coming along with us on the tour of the law school. Uh, I know that this is a crazy time, so if there are any questions that you have, again, don't hesitate to reach out to the admissions office, to us, anyone that you can, uh, if you have connections with in the law school. It's really important in this time if you have questions to have them answered. Um, and we look forward to having you guys here in the fall.